Prophetic Warning The Coming Persecution and the Wearing Out of the Saints February 6, 2024 by Elizabeth Marie Recently, the Lord has given me three short messages about the coming persecutions. I have also been shown how this relates to the end times, and how it affects to the saints personally. There are many scriptures that talk about how the beast system, A.C. makes, war with the saints, by delivering them up, to be afflicted and killed. Here are those verses. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe, effent tongue, and nation. Revelation 13, 7. I was watching, and the same horn was making war against the saints, and prevailing against them, until the Ancient of Days came and a judgment was made in favor of the saints of the Most High, and the time came for the saints to possess the kingdom. Daniel 7 21 22. And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation 12 17. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Matthew 24 9. However, there is more to this, persecution, than just physically. It says in Daniel 7:25 that in the last days the beast will, wear out the saints. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Daniel 7:25. Notice that the Antichrist, system will, wear out the saints. The word, wear, in Strong's concordance means, wear away, wear out, harass constantly, to afflict, to oppress, used in a mental sense. When I read that, wearing out the saints, also means, used in a mental sense, I realized that this, persecution, was so much more than just physical. It is also mentally, and spiritual as well. This means that persecution is already affecting the saints in many different ways, besides the normal meaning of being jailed or killed. It is also through constant attacks in our daily lives that harass and continually afflict us. This is the constant warfare that the enemy is throwing at the saints in these last days. It is a HIGHTEN state of alert because Satan knows that his time is short. Revelation 12:12. 12, 12. If we can recognize and identify these forms of persecutions and attacks that come against us to wear us out, then we can expose them, and deal with them by expelling them from our lives, through spiritual warfare. Revelation 12 11 is the key. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to the death. Revelation 12 11. Half the battle, is recognizing how then enemy has come into our lives to, wear us out. Then, with the power that we have been given in Luke 10 19, we can trample upon these serpents and scorpions of wickedness, and cast them out. This is the battle that we are daily in, dot but with the help, and guidance of the Holy Spirit, we can be overcomers, and find victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Message 1. Have I not said that a great testing is coming on the whole world, those who will escape, have already been tested in the fires of affliction, and now walk with me in holiness, and purity. For persecution comes, and will test my people. Many will turn away from me because of the intent of their hearts that were not pure, or steadfast. Their tree of faith was easily pushed over, exposing their shallow root system. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow. But the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Mark 4, 5-6. Message 2. Persecution comes, get ready. It is at the door. Do not be surprised, for you have been warned. These refining fires will purify my bride. She will be tested, and will be found either innocent, or guilty. These are the days of the overcomers, or the traitors. Do not be a Judas, dot but be a Mary who sits at my feet, in my presence, serving me. It is there that you will find great reward. Know the times that you in. Do not be deceived, but pray for discernment, for the enemy brings his lies to my servants. Do not listen to his accusatory voice. Do not listen to his condemnations. Instead take very thought captive for me, in my kingdom, and you will have then unlocked a secret to the kingdom. Casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, 
and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Stay true to your calling, and do not detour off the main, narrow path. I have called each one to a specific mission. Stay focused on your mission. Do not stray from it, or go off on a tangent that is not from me. I have a specific work for each one of you, stay focused on that mission. If you do not know what that is, then seek me with all your heart, and then you will be shown. Then you can step into your destiny for my kingdom. Do not wait, for your time here is limited. Make the most of it. Do not put off till tomorrow what you should be doing today. No more delays, instead walk in obedience. Time is ticking away, it is now accelerated. My creation groans, as it waits for the sons of God to be revealed. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Romans 8 19. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Romans 8 22. Take heed to the warnings that have been given, and act accordingly with my help, and direction. I am there for my own. I will never leave or forsake them, God for they are my heart. Message 3. While praying, in the spirit, it seemed as if I was standing on a very tall mountain, looking down into the darkness. I then saw, what seemed like, a city, that, though it was dark, I could still see small points of light shining through. I have seen this several times before, while praying. Then I heard this. These are the cities of the world, dot the lights represent my people who are shining in the midst of great darkness. Many will prevail, but at a great cost. Many will be persecuted, and will leave their shell of skin that was granted to them. For death is only a transitions into another life, another world. Your spirit is eternal, and has no end, for you are a life force that I have created. Prophetic warning. The coming persecution and the wearing out of the...